Hi, I'm Hannah Alblad. I'm a third year MRC student. And I'm Sara Ramirez. I'm also a third year MRC student. And today we're joined by Tatiana Bilbao, who is visiting um, from Mexico City. And she also teaches uh, studios at Columbia and Yale University. Tatiana right now is working on a project that looks at the two sides of the border um, that both students in Yale and Columbia and here at the University of Texas at Austin, we're all working on different studio projects. So and in 12 other schools. 12 other 12 schools, other schools. <laughs> yeah. How could you maybe start by talking a little bit about what inspired you to get started on this project? So I think that we have been, um, uh, we have becoming, or even historically, we are a uh, very incredibly rich region, which we have a social, cultural, um, even economically um, bond that becomes really uh, about uh, broader than, than countries, no? that go way beyond countries. And I think we, we don't have that in the political discourse, no? especially in this political moment. Um, it is always talking about how we divide those two uh, countries or three uh, and how we even uh, try to think that we are totally different. Uh, where what is happening um, is not that, no, clearly. Obviously, environmentally, we're one region. Um, and I think it's very, uh, very well thought and talked and uh, encouraged and studied within the border area. But I think that in the center of, con of the two countries specifically, if we had Canada, even in Canada, is not really addressed, no? It's like as if we were in the in other side of the world. And I think that um, the only way I could uh, like really do something for this political moment was to uh, um, broaden knowledge about, about it and about uh, and uh, allowing us to really think how we can imagine this to become one region, politically speaking as well, mm -hmm. no? And so I decided to invite um, professors from different schools in both sides of the border uh, to, to, to work on it. And really, uh, very openly, I left every professor to choose what is the topic that they wanted to work on, because there's so many topics that, uh, that are really um, defining this uh, um, these area as a region, that it could really be uh, enough to fill all the schools of architecture in both countries, really, mm -hmm. you know, and working in different topics. There's so many uh, issues with our relationship that really we architects can come in the discourse and start to, to, to think how we can reinforce those uh, relationships. I think uh, that's the richness and that's why uh, I open it br very broadly to start a discourse of uh, understanding that this really can become a very rich and broad topic for us. And have you found that uh, broadening this knowledge and building these relationships with all these schools influence your work at your privacy in, Mex in Mexico City? Well, I think it's uh, it's two ways, no? I think um, my uh, personal interests are informing the studios as well as the studios are informing my work. And what I really have um, uh, have brought to my to my work about this is how important it is to be foreign in one own place, no? And how important it is to be local in one in the other space. So how these two ideas of locality and foreignity could become uh, could could really enrich everything that we do, no? And uh, specifically working in every project that we do in the office. Are there, are there some projects that have been done by students here in the U.S. that have kind of changed your perspective about? Um, Mexico and sort of allowed you to? By all means. Um, I do believe that when you have um, this possibility of allowing someone else to look at what you see every day, mm -hmm. it really enrich, enriches uh, a lot of things because coming from different backgrounds may allow you to see other things and other potential in things that you don't see. You, you see them as everyday notions and sometimes those everyday notions become like the change you needed, no? Uh, so this is why I think it's very useful that uh, people from other contexts are l overseeing uh, own, uh, like your own issues, no? Mm -hmm. 
maybe we can ask you some things about your about um, as an architect. Yes, yes. Um, how do you find um, balancing the time between like family and owning a firm and teaching at both schools? Ah, that's a different question. <laughs> a difficult question to ask because um, everybody has asked me, especially this semester, which I'm teaching at two schools, and. To be honest, I don't know <laughs> the answer. I mean, I think it's a matter of getting organized. It also, it's about a network of people that really um, help, mm -hmm. but not only help. I mean, they're part of, the, of everything. And I like to share work. And I think that's the most, um, for me, the most interesting part of, of working as an architect is to be able to share my work with a lot of people that are from different uh, understandings and feels, no? So when you start also sharing, you are start being able to do way more things uh, with your time. Uh, so, and by sharing, I mean sharing, no? I don't, like in the work in my office, I share it. Like it's a work of uh, 54 people and it's n I'm, the, I'm, I'm the eyes of everybody and probably I'm the voice, but in, in the office we work very horizontally and this is how I work in every in every place, no? And I think that uh, by really sharing the work and getting all these uh, possibilities of relationships and understandings that are crossing each other, uh, you enhance the possibility of the project, but also you make your life easier, right? <laughs> because you can do more things uh, with, uh, with the time you have. Um, and also by understanding that this sharing of things needs to become also in the private part. Uh, and also by sharing the private with the with the professional life, uh, so all these uh, things that um, come together can can really create a possibility for me doing something like that. No, so for example, I have my little girls here mm -hmm. at this moment uh, because there's a possibility of me being with them, being part of their growth, but also me working no in other yeah. contexts. Okay. How has your process changed since you finished as a student? I mean, now you have a you know, much larger office, but ha has the way that you design changed? Um, Absolutely. I think that, um, well, in my case, I think like I came to understand very recently even, I would say, and probably I would never do, but now recently I think that I understand it better, what I do. And what made us do that was the exhibition we put together mm -hmm. in Monterrey that really uh, allow us to, to, to like put everything together on what mm -hmm. we've done and learn about it and then create for there like a baseline for the future. Um, but I think that those, that only comes with time, no? And I think that the most important and the most difficult part of uh, an architecture's office is to, to really acquire that knowledge and start on the, uh, learning from it mm -hmm. and responding with it uh, and that's growing and it's very and I think it's not easy I mean there are very few firms that uh, really you can see these very um, uh, incredible how they really consolidate that body of work and they have understood what they do and then they have even uh, put it in a greater in greater terms no but it's not easy I think that that's a challenge of every day that will continue till the end yeah um, and as part of this growth, um, okay, as part of this growth, and since you now have projects all over the world and uh, talk about both sides of the con of the border, um, have you thought about opening another branch uh, in another country, maybe the United States? No, I don't think so, mm -hmm. because I I also believe in something that it's manageable. Otherwise, mm -hmm. um, I don't think a branch is necessary. I think uh, collaborations are necessary. No, so if I'm thinking to that I need more people in, in some locality, I would collaborate with someone that is there. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's always very talented people. I don't think I need to to put an arm uh, elsewhere. I think maybe why don't I collaborate with someone and then, then we can do the work wherever we are. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you very much.